They are the charts and numbers we all seek out each morning. Arizona's newly reported cases, deaths, and a check of how our hospitals are faring in the battle against COVID-19. But what we're learning is that the state dashboard may not be all that reliable. ABC 15 in the last 72 hours has noticed late reporting, and we found another big drop in daily new cases, a huge backlog in testing results added to the charts weeks later. And now dozens of deaths deleted. Tonight, ABC 15's Nicole Grigg and data analyst Garrett Archer going through the numbers and sorting out why there are so many inconsistencies here. Nicole joins us live in Phoenix. And Nicole, all of this can be a little bit confusing. It, it really is confusing and after going through the numbers today, we found that there's likely a backlog of 35 to 40,000 tests going back nearly two weeks and it's raising concerns to experts. Light blue coloring that's on the bottom of the dark blue is considered a deletion. ABC 15 analyst Garrett Archer going through what's called the death epi curve. It shows the day someone died from COVID-19. But over the weekend, those light blue colors at the bottom shows nearly 50 deaths are subtracted. And it's not uncommon to have one or two deaths deleted on, on any given day. But having this number of deaths deleted, which equates to, I believe, 47 or 49 deaths, uh, being deleted on one day has never happened before. Along with deaths deleted, issues with tests being reported. On Saturday, Arizona's Department of Health put out this tweet saying a lab failed to report its diagnostic tests. For the next couple days, the, the, the numbers can be very uh, wild. So if for some reason a, a laboratory fails to report, then the next day we, we could and have had uh, record numbers showing up. It's not the first time a lab has failed to report. It's the second time in a matter of weeks, and it can lead to confusion. People start saying, oh, Arizona had a record case number day, record case number day. But really, that record case number day was because of a failure to report. And so you're kind of looking at 48 hours not the typical 24 hours, so it's sort of unfair to call it a record case day. Arizona's governor has bragged about the state's COVID-19 dashboard, receiving an A-plus rating online from websites like The Atlantic. He even spoke about it at last week's press conference. You should uh, go to the COVID trafficking project. I think it's done uh, by The Atlantic. It gives Arizona an A-plus for the information that comes out of the Arizona Department of Health Services. That's on the website, azhealth.gov. But the data is only as good as what's being reported. The state trusts the labs and hospitals to self-report their information. ABC 15 finding at least 30 to 45,000 tests are likely backlogged, and tests are going back nearly two weeks. Arizona's former director of public health. In order for the data to be useful for both individuals, for workplaces, and for contact tracing purposes, I think you'd probably need to see 80% of the samples coming in um, within 72 hours. So that's within three days. And the governor, who relies on public health and the data, is expected to make announcements this week on plans for schools. But Arizona's former director of emergency management, Wendy Smith Reeves, says in any emergency, you need accurate and timely data. So if there's inconsistency and or if the data is lagging for whatever reason, then you have to basically dissect it and say, where where's the breakdown and how do we fix it? Or do we go to a different source to find the information that is going to be timely? And the Department of Health telling us that the 50 deaths that they subtracted was because they were flagged as possibly having the wrong dates. They did not match, but they say they this was only temporary and that they plan to add them back to Tuesday's epi curve number. Now, the governor's office says they know test results need to be in a timely fashion, and they say that is why they're working on it. Reporting live in Phoenix, Nicole Grigg, ABC 15, Arizona. Sources tell ABC 15.